welcome back to my channel. Today I have another dump and go crock pot video for you. A couple of weeks ago I mentioned that I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel where I post one of these new videos every couple of weeks with lots of dump and go crock pot ideas for you. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on these videos. I absolutely love crock pot meals. They're just so quick and easy. They're perfect for the fall and winter. They're just very cozy and warm. So definitely stay tuned if you don't want to miss out on all of these easy recipes. But let's go ahead and get into all of these dump Dump and go meals. For this first dump and go dinner, I'm just making a chicken tortilla soup. It was super delicious. I'm just starting off with my large crock pot that I'm spraying with a little bit of olive oil so nothing sticks. And then for the meat, I have two large chicken breasts here. You can also use three if yours are on the smaller side. I decided to add in about half of a chopped yellow onion as well as about half of a bell pepper. The recipe didn't call for it, but I just felt like it needed a little something extra. I'm also adding in one can of corn that I drained off as well as one can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. For seasonings here, I'm adding in one packet of taco seasoning mix with a little bit of garlic powder. You can also add in some salt and pepper if you want. Of course, I had to add in a big scoop of minced garlic. And then for the base of this soup, I'm actually adding in a jar of salsa. Mine was homemade, but you can just use whatever you have from the grocery store, but I just had this to use up on hand. And then I'm also adding in about five cups of chicken broth. I'm just mixing all of this together. I cooked this soup on high for about five hours or so until that chicken was completely cooked through. Once it's all done cooking, I just pulled it out and I'm shredding it up with two forks. If you want to make this a little bit easier on yourself, you can definitely use the hand mixer. I was just feeling a little bit lazy and I didn't feel like actually pulling it out, so I just used the two forks. And this chicken was also super, super tender. So if you like a good tender chicken, I definitely would recommend this recipe. We absolutely loved it. It was filled with tons of flavor and this chicken was absolutely on point. I just added that chicken right back into the crock pot. I did let this sit for probably like another 30 minutes or so just to really make sure that all of the flavors were really well marinated together. We really enjoyed this soup recipe. It had a ton of meat in it, so if you like a really hearty soup, I would definitely recommend this one. I just served it with a little bit of sour cream on top and some cheese and it just made it super creamy and delicious. For this next recipe, I'm making some lemon pepper chicken thighs. So again, I'm just starting off with that same large crock pot and a little bit of olive oil. You will see that I do that with all of these crock pot meals. It just makes the cleanup a little bit easier. And then for the chicken here, I'm using about five chicken thighs. Mine did have the bone in and the skin on, but I actually recommend using the skinless ones so more of the seasoning actually gets into the chicken. Regardless though, we absolutely love this recipe. This chicken is going to be filled with tons of really amazing seasoning, but I'm just starting off super basic with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm also adding in about a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, about half a teaspoon of the crushed red chili flakes, half a teaspoon of paprika, as well as about one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I know it's a lot of seasonings, but trust me, these have so much flavor in them. You will absolutely love it. I did also add in about one teaspoon of lemon pepper. I didn't have any lemons on hand, so I decided to substitute the lemon pepper instead, and it worked out absolutely perfect. I will have the recipe linked down below for this, so you guys can look at it and see what you would like to do. Of course, I had to add lots of garlic on top, so I just tried to make sure that every piece of chicken had some garlic on it to give it that really good garlicky flavor. You guys know I love my garlic. I'm also adding in about a third cup of chicken broth, and then for some extra flavor, I added in about four tablespoons of butter right on top to really just let it melt in. And then I'm going to cook this on high for about four or five hours until the chicken is nice and fully cooked through. 
My kids really enjoyed this recipe, so if you have any picky eaters, they might really love this one. I just served it alongside some garlic bread and a side salad, and it was a really nice, quick and easy dinner. For this next dump and go meal, I'm actually making some Cool Ranch chicken tacos. So here you see me actually making my own taco seasoning. I'm gonna have the recipe that I used linked down below. Of course, you can just use a normal taco seasoning packet, but I did not have any on hand. So this is just a quick little tip for you that if you are ever in a pinch and you don't have a taco seasoning packet, you can totally make your own from scratch. And you can also control exactly what is going into it. You know that there's not a lot of preservatives and junk. So I will leave this recipe down below. It was super delicious and I definitely will be making it again. Now it is time to actually make these chicken tacos. So I just sprayed my crock pot with a little bit of olive oil like I always do. And then for this recipe, I'm adding in about four chicken breasts. Mine were pretty good size for this one. And then here is that taco seasoning you just saw me mix up. But like I said, you can totally use just a normal taco seasoning mix if you have that on hand. I'm also adding in a ranch seasoning packet. Like I mentioned at the beginning, these are supposed to be cool ranch chicken tacos. The flavor here was super delicious. I definitely would make these again. And then I'm adding in about a cup of chicken broth. Super, super simple. I'm just giving all of this like kind of a quick mix together. And then I just cook this on high for about four hours. Once that chicken was fully cooked through, I'm just taking my hand mixer to it and shredding it all up. Just be careful because this chicken was super tender and it basically fell apart, so you don't want to over shred it with the hand mixer. So just be careful when you do that because it seriously only takes a couple of seconds. You definitely don't want blended up chicken. I'm just getting all of these flavors mixed together and then I'm going to be making my tacos. So for my tacos, I just used two tortillas. I decided to add that chicken on there with some cheese, some sour cream, and some lettuce. But definitely play around with this and use whatever you want for toppings. This was a super good recipe. I will definitely make this one again. It had a ton of flavor. I also used it the next day to make some burrito bowls that were also super, super delicious. For this next dump and go meal, I'm making an Alfredo tortellini. So I'm just starting off with that same crock pot and a little bit of oil so nothing sticks. This really does do a good job to prevent things from really sticking. I never really have an issue. I'm starting off with one jar of Alfredo sauce and just dumping this right into the bottom of my crock pot. This is gonna make a really good base for all of the pasta here. So for this recipe, you're going to need about 20 ounces of tortellini. I used the three cheese kind. I picked it up at Aldi and I think it was about $4, so pretty good price on that. I'm taking about half of it and dumping it onto this first layer of Alfredo sauce. The recipe said to add some garlic powder with each layer, so here I just did a little sprinkle of that. And then something that the recipe did not say to do, but I did, was I added a couple cups of spinach in here. I just really felt like it needed some sort of veggie. I love to hide veggies in where I can with my kids. It just makes it a little bit easier for them to eat something green. And then of course I topped it with some mozzarella cheese. And then I'm just going to basically be repeating the process. So here I have one more jar of Alfredo sauce. I added in about half of the jar right off the bat with the rest of the pasta in there. And then I'm just going to be topping it with the rest of the Alfredo, the garlic powder, and the mozzarella cheese. I just cooked this on low for about three hours. It was a super quick and easy crock pot meal. I did like how this turned out, but I feel like I wasn't in love with the type of Alfredo that I used. It was the Aldi brand and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but if you have a favorite Alfredo sauce, I think you would really enjoy this recipe. If you try it, let me know what you think in the comments. 
This next dinner may have been my favorite. I made a smothered pork roast. You could also do pork chops with the same recipe. I'm using my smaller crock pot for this one. I just sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil and then I'm adding in a pork loin roast here. But like I said, you could do this with pork chops or a different cut of meat as well. Now here I have a separate bowl that I'm adding all of my ingredients to. So I have one can of cream of mushroom with one can of cream of chicken. And then I am also adding in a jar of mushrooms here. You can use regular raw mushrooms if you want, but I just chose to use the sliced mushrooms in the jar. For lots of extra flavor in this recipe, I'm adding in a couple good scoops of minced garlic as well as one of these soup packets. This is just the onion soup packet. I'm using the Aldi brand and it tasted perfectly fine. You can also pick them up at Walmart if you like, but I'm just dumping one of those in there with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm also adding in about one cup of water and giving this a good mix. This is actually going to be the gravy that the pork cooks in. This was super delicious. I ended up serving it over mashed potatoes and all of that gravy just had the best flavor. So I just dumped this all across my pork loin roast and then I cooked it on low for about eight hours or you can do it on high and just adjust the cooking time. I'm gonna have this recipe linked down below. The original recipe was with pork chops but I decided to try it with a pork loin roast and it really did turn out super delicious. I decided to shred up my pork loin roast about half an hour before serving and then I ended up dumping it back into the crock pot. I just really wanted the inside of the pork loin to get all of the delicious flavors from the gravy. We absolutely loved this recipe. It was pretty budget friendly. My kids enjoyed it, my husband really liked it and it was seriously super delicious served over mashed potatoes. Here's what dinner looked like all plated up. I really, really enjoyed this recipe. If you guys try any of these recipes, definitely let me know down in the comments how you like them. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I will be posting another crock pot video in just a couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned if you don't want to miss out on that. I also post a what's for dinner video every single Sunday, grocery hauls, food prep, all things food over on my channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels we're mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free Without a care